morning, everybody. It's uh, it's half past three in the morning. I'm just leaving my house. I thought I'll show you like how I get to work. Whispering because my girlfriend and kids are still in bed. Turn that light off. That light on. Just uh, just getting ready to leave. I say it's half past three. I'm done. Gonna get ready and get to work. Now, oh, now we're in the kitchen. I do normally sit in here for a little bit, wake up, have a drink, double check I've got everything ready in the bag, and uh, yeah, and then we crack on. I take this with me. This has got my clothes in, so uh, it's got I've got enough clothes in here to last the whole week if I need to. Underwear, socks, and all that. And then I also take my bag, which inside I have. Uh, my GoPro stuff and my new MacBook as well. So everything I need is in there. Let's go and uh, go get my shoes on. Yeah, I don't actually know what I'm doing today until I get down to Southampton. Um, the reason why I've got to start so early on a Monday is because I've got to get down there for six o'clock. So, normally got to leave my yard around about four o'clock in the morning to get there. So that's what we're going to do. Right, we're ready to rock and roll. Let's go. Right. Light off. Let's close the door. I've got two cars. I've got that cash car there, which you can't really see, and I've also got my Honda Civic. All right, let's get this car started. Oh, I've got the indicators on. Push to start. set off. We've had to park around the corner from where we normally park because there's no space which is really annoying but oh well never mind. So we just got to walk around now and find the truck. It's uh, 20 past four now. Don't know if you can hear me because the wind is quite windy at the moment. There's our beauty. Let's get her unlocked. Go. Nice and clean on the inside, just how we like it. That bag can go up there. Bag can go there for a second. So one of the first things I do, I turn the ignition on, put the card straight in, and then I just need to check the oil level to make sure it's all okay. Right. Monitoring data. Oh come on, go away. monitoring data, engine oil, and we're okay. So, engine oil is all right. Free to start the engine. So now, we'll just let the air build up, because I've uh, got no air. Manual entry and say that I turned up about three minutes ago. Excellent. Um, Right, so what I'm going to do now is go out and uh, do some checks. Make sure the vehicle is So, we're, uh, we're all ready to go. 
all the checks are done, all my paperwork is done for the morning. Everything's set up in the cab, GoPro, dash cam, everything's done. Um, I took my bedding home uh, Friday, so I do need to sort my bedding out, but I do that tonight when I start. Uh, yeah, so we're good to go. Just waiting for the air pressure to build up a little bit more. And then uh, we will move, make a move down to Southampton. Yes. Right, you join me going down the very bumpy road of Hazel Road. <laughs> um, one hour, 40 minutes after we left the yard. Oh, massive puddle there. Um, yeah, so the time is just gone six o'clock. It's quarter past six. So like I said, we uh, should have got here for about six o'clock really, but left a little bit later. Still, at least they'll be open, ready for me. I would hope. So hopefully we can just roll straight in near enough. Let's come down here. Yeah, right, so, I'll see you guys in a bit when we know uh, where we're going. Welcome back. As you can see, it's a little bit lighter now. It's no longer as dark as it was early hours this morning. We also know where we're going. Uh, we're actually around the corner from where we need to be now. First drop is Sydenham's in Salisbury. Um, so I know a few people who watch my vlogs are from Salisbury, so you might see me on the way to work this morning because it is half past eight now. So you may well see me. We will see. Um, yeah, we've got to go left here. There's, a, there's quite a low bridge that we've got to go under. I think there's a very tight right-hand turn off a roundabout. Um, uh, so much so that I need to take up the whole space on the, on the other side of the road, on the right-hand side. So, um, yeah, I've got to be a bit careful. It's worse coming back out because you have to be on the other side of the road to, to turn left, but to turn right is not too bad. I believe there's a sign somewhere saying uh, care for, um, large vehicles in the middle of the road or something. So people should be aware. But we'll have to see. So yeah, we're going to Salisbury. Well, we're in Salisbury. Next run is um, Petersfield, which is a Travis Perkins site. Uh, definitely not allowed to record in there. That is the place. They didn't like me recording because I caught something wrong. But that's fair enough. Right, so we've got a few coaches coming under. Right, so we need to turn right under this roundabout. Uh, at this roundabout. Got to mind my trailer on that car. Easy peasy. Can't see if there's anyone crossing behind him. There's everyone crossing there and I couldn't quite see if it was all clear. So I had to go quite slow around that, or past that. Yeah, on the way out, that roundabout, we've got uh, to turn left, we've actually got to be on the right-hand side of the road. And take up even more space. But it didn't help that just then that car was parked on the roundabout. 
I didn't have at all. Never mind. She wanted to go. Give way to me. Thank you very much, Mr. Van Driver. Right, so this place we're going to now, um, it's just up here and it's on the left-hand side, but the, the yardsmen don't like you reversing in on your blind side. Is he stopped? So uh, he wants you to go all the way around and come in on your good side. Is he still stopped? He's still stopped. That was very kind of him. So, um, yeah, what we've got to do is turn left, coming up. Thanks for letting me go. Not that you are entitled to, or need to, but... Yeah, so we need to, we've got to turn left here, do like a massive square circle, and then come back on ourselves up that road in front of us, so that we can do it on our good side. There's a few car places down here, so you get car transport or lorries parked up. And um, yeah, it can be a little bit tight, but nothing I can't deal with. Bumpy roads. So we're gonna turn right over here. Plenty of space today. Yeah, you got a Seat, Ford. I think there's a Vauxhall around the corner that we just went past. Loads of car places. And you get loads of car transporters around here. Nissan there, look, and a Peugeot. Pretty much every brand to go in. Toyota. Um, could take me a while to get out of here. Smell of fresh bread in the air, it smells lush. Who's beeping? Not the best of roads to bring an Arctic down, but like you said, manageable. How many of these cars are going to want to come down then? Two 
too many guts there. Right, and this is where we're delivering to. So we're just going to put the hazards on. <laughs> she didn't look happy to see me. Right, um, I'll see you guys in a bit. This video is sponsored by Trailer Training UK, operating across the south delivering HGV class 1 and 2 courses as well as weekly CPC courses. They also do car and trailer courses and many more. I have heard nothing but good things about these guys, check out their online presence, they got a 91.7% first time pass rate and if you quote Luke so you get a 5% discount on top of the 5% price fee they already have. Therefore, you're 100% guaranteed the best price. Find out more by clicking the link in the description below. Right, we're done. Just take that off. Put that on the floor, it's warm on the floor. Could do with a bit of my mic on. Um, weather forecast, wet, just so you know. Oh. So all in all, that took 21 minutes to be tipped. I know that because that's how long I've been sat still for. 21 minutes. Good to go. Let's lift the mid-axle up. So now we're heading back to Southampton. Got an hour and 10 minutes drive time left, and it takes an hour and 10 minutes to get there. So I expect what I'm gonna do is go all the way and park up around the corner um, where I normally sleep, and then um, go to the shops and get anything I might need for tonight. Could do some more cotton buds, wet wipes. Can't get out of this junction. Come on. All clear. Yeah, so um got an hour well, an hour and eleven minutes of drive time left and it takes an hour to ten to get there, including traffic. So if the traffic um, clears up by then, which I assume it will, I'll actually be there in about an hour I expect as opposed to an hour and ten. So yeah, we're gonna go to Southampton, park up and have our break, because we haven't had a break yet since four o'clock this morning. 20 pounds for rubber. That's the second time a car's flashed me from like miles away. Thank you very much, it's very kind of you. Thank you. Some car drivers are nice. And some aren't. <laughs> so I'm just going to film uh, leaving Salisbury because we've got to go on that roundabout again where we've got to be on the other side of the road to get round so it's quite interesting to see. It's quite interesting to see indeed. Right, let's turn left here. See, you're not indicating, mate. Indicate. That bus has seen me. Thank you very much to Mr. Bus. Turn right over here. Oh, more horns being beat. It's a very awkward roundabout this, because like I said, I need to get on the right hand side to go left. But you're in my way, mate. He's flashed me, but I need to be where he is. That car's really messed up my line to get round. The 
because she wasn't looking. Cheers, mate. Like I said, I need to get on the right-hand side of the road to get around there. And I had loads of time to, to do it, and that car came around and just was not looking. She was indicating right and she was looking left. So when she saw me, it messed me up. I'm on her side of the road, so you know, I'm the one who's in the wrong, technically. But I need to be on that side of the road to get round. Don't mind. Like I said, it's not the end of the world, you just have to live with it. Right, so, we're now going to head back to Southampton, get there as quickly and as safely as possible before our driving time runs out. And then I will see you in a bit when, we're, when we stopped and we're having a break. Okay, so we had a break and we've been loaded. Uh, it's quite tight there. Yeah, we've had a break and we've been loaded uh, and we're on our way now to Petersfield, which is great. Uh, there isn't anything else planned for me today. <laughs> and I just asked uh, what am I preloading for, for the morning. And there's, there's loads on, but they haven't planned it yet. So I'm working too far ahead of schedule. They don't know what I'm doing yet with regards to tomorrow. So never mind. The, uh, the footage that you saw at the beginning of, the, of this vlog was recorded on my phone when I left my house. Uh, during my break, I moved those videos onto my laptop ready to be edited. And the cool thing is, um, it was all wireless, it was all airdropped. I didn't have to plug it into the Mac or anything, it was all completely wireless, just on my phone, highlight the video. I found it was easy to do it one at a time. But yeah, uh, highlight the video I wanted to convert over to the, uh, the my MacBook Air, and within a minute it was on there. So uh, it's all good. You're going to keep coming down, aren't you? Yeah. It's one of those awkward areas where I've got nowhere to go. I'm already committed. I mean, there's gaps for cars to park into, but if I if I were to go over to the left and park up, the trailer would still be in the way. There's just not enough room. So yeah, we're on our way to Petersfield. Uh, yeah, unfortunately this is the place where they, uh, well, I, well, where I caught something wrong. Um, so my dash cam, I think it's, I think I can talk about it now, like, but, but anyway, I had a GoPro on the back. And it was a time lapse of the, of the forklifter taking off the bulk bags. But this particular yard, you're supposed to put, um, a barrier up to say do not pass. So when the trade come in, they don't come into my area where I'm being uh, unloaded. So, and the forklifter didn't put it up. Um, so yeah, apparently um, he showed it to his boss and his boss then said, well, you might be in trouble for that. And then, so he phoned day aggregates up and asked day aggregates to ask me not to film in their yard in the future, which is completely fine. Completely fine. But um, they also said better not film in any other place so it's a bit of, a bit of a bummer because I have lost some content like if I could record in anywhere I went then uh, I'd have more content to show you guys if I go ahead and do that even though they've asked me not to then my boss could lose the contract so um, yeah I can't do it or I'm gonna lose could lose the contract from the boss which is not gonna be ideal we don't want that so yeah, as far as uh, today's concerned, this is the last load of the day. Um, we're going to be there about 12 o'clock. Say it takes an hour to tip, 1 o'clock. We'll probably be back here for 2 o'clock. Um, and then say, for whatever reason, it takes an hour to get loaded, it's 3 o'clock. So we probably wouldn't actually be able to get there before 4 o'clock anyway, wherever we're going. We'll have to see. We might be able to, but they might not be able to. So, we'll either be parked up by three o'clock or we'll, or we'll be working until six o'clock. One or the other. Depends if they take the delivery or not. Wherever we're going. So sure, yes. I'll see you in a bit when we're closer to Petersfield. Right, we are in Petersfield now. Just heading on Winchester Road. There's two ways you can get to this place. Uh, I think a lot of people go around the other way. But um, I, I, I prefer coming in this way, to be honest with you. Um, 
to just, just do, to be honest with you. I think it's slightly less of a walk. <laughs> so that's probably why. Slightly lazy. So it's going to turn right around this roundabout. I, uh, oh, earlier, by the way, um, in Salisbury, when we went underneath that bridge by the roundabout, I can't remember if it was on the way in or the way out, but there was a truck. Well, there was, there was actually a truck on both occasions. Anyway, whoever was driving that truck watches my vlogs because he messaged me saying that he, uh, he saw me. So, hello. Yeah, I can't remember. I think on the way in, there was a a red truck, I think. And on the way, on the way out, it was a blue truck or the other way round. Can't remember. Yeah, we want to turn right here. Nearly missed this turning then. Oh, there's a few lorries down there. Is that lorry coming out? Yeah. There's a little one coming out. There's an Arctic with his hazards on. Oh, he wants to go there, doesn't he? Of course he does. To be fair, you should have probably indicated a little bit sooner, mate. You're welcome, though. Thanks for saying thank you. Oh, this Arctic's now turning around by the looks of it. What's he doing? Is he turning around? Oh no, he's going in there by the looks of it. That's cool. You get on in. We've all got places to go to. There's a Travis Perkins lorry coming out there. Look, that's where we're going. Come on then. Give way to right here. I'm trying to give way to you. You're just staring at me. Let's go. Good news is there's no one waiting to go in. And I don't think there's anyone in there either. So I'll need to park up and then go and tell them I'm here and then they'll tell me whether or not I can come in. I've had my hazards on for ages, but the van behind me is still behind me. Right, I'm gonna go find out if I can get in or not and then uh, come right back. Right, we are going on in. And uh, I'm not wearing a seatbelt because you're not, you're legally not, uh, you're legally allowed to not wear a seatbelt if you're traveling no more than 100 meters in a HGV, I think. And when you gotta do uh, maneuvers, and we gotta do some maneuvers to get into this yard. So I need uh, as much visibility as possible. Um, I'm not filming dash cam because obviously big no-no in this place now, but again, you, I am the uh, the focus point. Come on then, keep going. When the lorry decides it wants to change gear. Hopefully that is enough room. So yes, we're now here. Um, hopefully we get unloaded. What's the time now? Uh, 11.48, so 10 to 12. Yeah, see you soon. Right, so we are finished tipping in Petersburg, Petersville, sorry, where we are now. I'm not gonna feel myself coming out because uh, I'm not supposed to film in here at all really, so, <laughs> so I better not, just to be safe. I'm not sure what we're doing next. Uh, we've got to go back to Southampton and then get preloaded for the morning, but I don't know whether or not we're actually delivering it today or not. We'll soon find out. One thing for sure, I am starving. I'm so hungry. But uh, yeah, anyway, I'm going to 
make a move and uh, I'll see you in a bit. Right, so we are loaded and we're on our way to our next run, which is actually booked for tomorrow. Um, yeah, I can't go anywhere, mate, until you let me round. This road is really bad. I know I keep saying it, but it really is. So I can't go anywhere until that car coming down here is up. Are they just, they dawdle, they just dawdle. Oh, a squirrel there. Yeah, I wanted to turn right there, but I couldn't because the car wanted to turn left. And there's nowhere for him to go because I'm in his way and he's in my way. So he, you know, luckily he's got, he had a bit of brains about him. He moved forward to let me come out. There's a truck behind me as well. But um, anyway, so yeah, we're on our way to our next run, which is booked in for tomorrow morning, which is fine. Uh, it's a place I've been to loads of times before, so um, it's going to be absolutely no problem at all. Um, so we are essentially, for today, we're done. We've got no more runs today. So i got to go park up now, basically. So it's up to me where I park. I could park up around the corner under Richmond Bridge like I do sometimes. Or I could park in a service. I could park wherever I want. I could basically finish right now if I wanted to. The only problem with that is if I do finish now, then I've got to start early in the morning. Now it's only 20 past three in the afternoon. So I would rather just drive a little bit longer, get closer to my destination. So I've got to do less driving in the morning. So that's what I'm doing. Um, where we're going in Godalming is about um, an hour and 15 minutes away, something like that. Like I said, it's quarter past three now, so we wouldn't get there until half past four, and most places don't take deliveries after four o'clock. So there's no way we're going to make it there today. It's just um, a case of getting as far as we can get, really, without getting too close and not finding a parking space. So I've had a look on the old maps, and I have found a place I want to stop. It's in a lay-by on the A3. Um, and it's one of those lay-bys where you've got, like, a central reservation in between yourself and the road like like a bit of um, tarmac um, they, they're good because then you're not right next to the road if you're not if you're not right next to the road you're not going to get rocked as much during the night because the a3 gets quite busy about five o'clock six o'clock during rush hour traffic and uh, i've parked in laybys before where they're right next to the road and when lorries go past you it's like it's like you're in a, a hurricane it's like vroom, like you, <laughs> your cab just rocks um, and it wakes you up throughout the night. So I've picked the, the lay-by that I want to go park in and hopefully it's going to be empty. Hopefully. If, for whatever reason, the lay-by is filled up, um, there is a lay-by opposite on the other side of the road. Uh, and luckily, this particular lay-by that I want to go and park in, it's got a junction just after so I can spin round and come back on myself onto the other junction, on the, uh, the other lay-by on the other side. And if that does happen, and I do park on the other side of the road, in the morning, half a mile down the road, there's a roundabout where I can um, turn around again. So, uh, yeah, it's, it looks like a perfect place to park. As long as one of those Levi's are free, we should be all right. If it isn't free, then we're going to have to go through Hindhead Tunnel and find somewhere else to park afterwards. But we've got plenty of driving time. The driving time's completely reset. We've got four and a half hours driving time. So, uh, yeah, let's go find somewhere to park. Right, you join me just a few, uh, well, one mile away from where we're going to be parking. I've gone past loads of parking spaces. I might actually park here, if it's clear. Yeah, I was going to park further on up, but just in case it's uh, not empty, I might as well just park here. It's only uh, a mile and a quarter away. So here it is. Take home your litter. We're we'll scrolled all the way up to the front, leaving enough room for someone to get past without hitting me. I do. Right. This is. Our home for the night. 
Like I said, I was going to park a little bit further on up, but uh, never mind. So what we need to do now on the sat nav is just put down where we're actually going tomorrow morning so I know how far we've got to be going. And I'll get it up on my phone so you can see. Here we go. So we are going that far. So 19 miles, um, which is going to work out to be 31 minutes. So that's cool. I've got to be there for seven o'clock in the morning. Um, so I know that I've got to leave here by half six. It's not too bad. You will arrive at your destination at 16.38. I'm going to turn you off before you start making noise. Yeah, half an hour to get there from here. So I'm happy with that. Happy that with that indeed. So what I need to do now is take out my taco because now I'm off duty, but I will be. Write down the time. So I started at 4.20 this morning. <coughs> I'm going to put... It's only 16.07, but if I put 16.20, then it's just a nice round number. So that's 4 o'clock till... 4.20 till 4.20, so that's 12 hours. 12 hours today. It's only like 11 hours and 50 minutes, really, but it's just, it just makes it easier. Finishing on that mileage, 5.49.4 three zero and today just grab the paperwork normally I do uh, do the paperwork during the day but I haven't actually done any paperwork today so I've got to do it all now so today we went to this morning we went to Salisbury didn't we Sydenham's in Salisbury this morning and then this afternoon we went to Travis Perkins in Petersfield so that is what I just need to write down on my paperwork just ripping off the corrugated stuff on the sides there we go right so paperwork Today we went to Salisbury. Salisbury. And then we went to Petersfield. And I already know tomorrow the first run is Godalming because I'm already loaded. So I might as well write that down as well. Ready. Excellent. Tay. And there's two coffees, pink and white. Pink copies go in my folder. White copies go back into the office, which I will do tomorrow. When I go back, I've got to sort my drawer out. There's way too much stuff in it. It's not closing properly. Let me turn my lights off. There we go. So we're done done for the day um what i need to do now is edit my vlog this vlog that you're watching and um yeah i'm gonna include some footage of that as well so we parked up at 10 past four this afternoon it's now just turned 20 past five uh so the time i got everything ready and got on the bed and started editing it's taken me an hour to edit the video so um i've literally just finished editing it now this is going to be whacked on the end if you like the current, the current video length is nearly 39 minutes so it's taking an hour to edit uh so yeah 39 minutes so yeah not too bad got the intro and everything and then like various stages of the vlog That's what I've been doing. It's not quite finished. I just I need to add my banner on the bottom here. It says Facebook page, uh, and then like I said, I just need to add this onto it as well. And then that'll be it. That'll be all done then. And then I can uh, chill out for the rest of the evening. Like I said, uh, I gotta leave this lay by by half past six in the morning, so I'm probably gonna get up about six o'clock, do all my checks, and uh, get.
get the engine running, warmed up and everything and crack on. So yes, I plan on vlogging tomorrow. So you'll see the uh, tomorrow you'll see me tomorrow in another vlog. I think this vlog's coming out on Saturday. So it'll be on the Thursday, the next one. So yes. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, drive safe. Thank you very much and uh, see you soon. Bye bye.